retaliate tremendously. So we really have to focus on him first. Here we go. Let's do this match four. Lines up some red. Oh, yeah, lined up red for them. Way to go, Rick. So we'll um, try to build up our red before we fire off X-23's green ability, if we can. It's definitely advised to build up and have 9 red on hand before you fire her green ability because then it can change the ability to a much better one. We'll look at it here in a second as soon as we're ready to pull the trigger on that. And why would you want to bring Dakin into this fight? Well, because he creates strike tiles every time anybody matches green, whether it's our team or theirs. And the strike tiles on the board reduce the cost of X-23's purple ability. It normally starts at 12 and then it reduces for every strike tile. So now it only costs um, 10. Why would it cost 10? There's four, five, six strike tiles on the board. I thought it would reduce better than that. But anyway, you get the idea. Oh, one of that red match. Well, we have a lot of green Let's um, let's do this. That'll leave a purple match lined up for us unless they take it. Good. They took yellow. So their AP's building up in red and blue pretty quickly. Gotta watch that. Purple. They don't have a green ability. So we, we really could leave green matches pretty much available on the board. They won't normally go for those unless there's really nothing else to, to do. Um, I should have thought of that earlier, of course. All right, what should we do here? Um, I want to get yellow. We're a real little behind on that. Not too bad. We're way ahead on green. Let's, let's go ahead and do this. Lines up some yellow matches. Maybe they'll take team up. Ah. So Agent Venom on our team is going to start doing automatic passive damage since we have more than we have 16 or more AP in a color, and sometimes this can be a really good use of his ability. Blue drops purple. So it costs two AP from that high AP pool, but you usually make up for that in your cascades and uh, and damage that you get from doing this. We're whittling down. Deadpool quite a bit. The problem is Agent Venom could destroy the trap tile that we're about to place for tracking prey. It is placed always on a purple, so I don't need to even play it until we have a match readily available. All right, we'll go for a match four in yellow. Let's do it this way, I think is probably better. They got yellow again. They have enough yellow to play Agent Venom's ability, and that is not good. Um, we have just no red at all, which really is too bad. Um, Venom matches team up. What can we do to get... We're just going to get hit by this. We, don't, we could play green and blue back to back to work on Agent Venom, but I really don't want to do that yet. Okay. We can play... Oh, the increased cost on purple is because of Peggy. That's why it wasn't going down as much as I wanted it to. As soon as we get Deadpool taken out, we can work on Peggy next. So we're going to get hit by... We really need to take Deadpool out. So let's do this. We're going to play Tracking Prey just to get it played because I want to take him out with chemical reaction. It's cheap ability, but it will cost some of our strike tiles. Since we're losing strike tiles, I wanted to um, at least get Deadpool taken out because of it. All right, let's go move over to Peggy now. And let's do white that drops black. I know I could have done some other things there, but Take cover is a good team damage ability. He played it. Now they are invisible. At least Agent Venom's allies are invisible for a couple turns. It leaves Venom out. 
and vulnerable, but that's why I wanted to take Deadpool out. I didn't want him to disappear on me. So, we just are not doing well in red, are we? We're probably going to get to the point where we're just going to have to start hitting them with everything we can. In the next match, we will have to use all of these, the essential three characters that we've been using in the other matches. All right, finally, we get a red that drops more purple and yellow. That'll hurt. 3940. Well, if Venom's going to take all the damage, I guess that's fine. We're not going to use him again after this match. But four red is just not getting it done. Let's do this. Go ahead and play holding back. Usually don't want to play that unless I have the red met, but it doesn't look like we're going to get it. And now we can take out Agent Venom with a military might. All right. So now we just have to work on Peggy. Let's get our yellow ready to go. She's visible again. And that's great because as soon as we get her knocked down a little bit, she'll uh, no longer be increasing our AP costs. We'll have to take her down to about 40% remaining health, unfortunately. So we'll keep working on her that way. X-23 can heal every time we match her colors. Super good ability. Blue drops black, lines up red. She'll probably steal the red. Of course. But, okay. Purple drops red. Now we're ready to start rolling. Seven red and the big thing is, yellow drops green. Now we got a good shot at this. Okay. Alien weakness kicked in. It's going to take away a little bit of our yellow. Darn it. Why did he take our yellow away? That's, some, that's the ability I wanted to play. <laughs> well, as soon as... Okay. That's just going to do it. We'll knock Peggy down under her threshold for increasing our ability costs and look at that everything just jumped up perfect we'll hit her with a I really want x23 to win this fight I guess um, I was hoping to do that with a shot of green that was using her uh, instead of holding back it would change to berserker fury or rage but let's just end it We'll have to use X-23 again in the next match. Maybe we'll be able to do it there. And we could have played Venom's yellow team damage ability. We'll take the win. Move on. Okay, so this match is going to be a bigger challenge than the other two. Not only is this team pretty good with each other, but we have to use the team combo that's provided from the system. So Spidey is pretty injured. I'm not going to heal him. I think the other two are going to do pretty well. So we need strike tiles to reduce the cost of X-23's purple. We'll probably see if we can play Ant-Man's yellow and blue and use her purple, green, and his red. Nobody has black. Let's take this off to make the challenge legit. Here we go. This is going to be tough. So I think we're going to work on... Let me think here. Now we better just work on Thing. He protects his friends who have less health than he does. So if we take his health down quickly, we'll be able to um, hit his friends as well. Purple drops red and yellow. Awesome. Wow, look at that cascade. Perfect. Must be the viewer luck kicking in. Thanks, guys. So there's a lot of different things here. We might get green, purple, yellow. Let's see. Yes. We're way ahead on AP now. This is great. Let's go for this red before we play Ant-Man's yellow. And what I guess we should do is try to get one more red match so that we have our... There it is. Lucky, lucky. Perfect. So that we have our AP met for x23 and then we don't have to wait okay so let's hit 
thing with the holding back since we have the nine red now now it's berserker fury and that'll be a good ability because it will then um, put pretty strong strike tiles on the board next time we play it so now we can play our red whenever we need to and we can use ant-man's yellow to take red tiles off the board that's going to be a pretty good tactic against those guys since two of them use red in their abilities this will remove a lot of red from the board and I won't need it too much after this since Iron Spidey is ready to go good plan I guess I think let's do this team up match yeah we're really really working on thing pretty good now let's go ooh they could they could take that red match Good. We're going to take Thing out here really quickly. Um, I don't want to lose those reds, but might not be able to change that unless I match it myself. No, we'll just let them see if they take it or something else. Probably did. Darn it, lost two ants. That's okay. Thing's going down here really quickly now that we have a bunch of strike tiles coming out. Let's see, go for purple. Things down. Now we want to work on Star Lord because he is going to be decreasing the costs of their abilities every time we play an ability with his countdown tile. I don't want that to happen. We've got a few strikes on the board, so our tracking prey only costs nine. There's a purple match on the board. Could we possibly get lucky enough for it to be trap at the top? Uh, not quite. Okay. Well, maybe we can line up this purple for some matches. Let's see if we can drop those purples down to line up here. Somehow or another. They have no reason to match green, which would really foil our plan. So hopefully they just don't match that. Um, actually... Let's do this. That might be okay. Yep, that... X-23 gets hit. Oh, wow. He placed the... <sighs> he placed the black charge tile right on our trap. The chances of that happening were so slim. Ridiculous. Oh, man. All right, we'll have to deal with that. We had the trap ready to go. It would have done absolutely tons of damage. Lucky team. All right. Well, let's just try to get our green going next, and we'll take a huge shot out of Star-Lord if we can do that. Let's see. We probably want to take the black charge tiles off the board, but we don't have to do the match four since it won't help us a lot. So let's do this. I think that gets us better moves lined up. Maybe. Somehow we need to line up a green match. We'll work on it here. Ugh, lost two strike tiles. They're doing pretty good. They must be upset that we took Thing out that easily. Go for blue. And purple black. Double move to take black away from Mordo. They matched green, probably because there were no real other good matches on the board. And we'll go for blue. It lines up some matches for us and them, unfortunately. Okay, looks good. Go for green here. Good, X-23 is up front to take the damage from this. She can heal from that pretty quickly. And we have a big hit ready to go. And Mordo's going to hit us again. I think what we're going to do, hit him with the Berserker Fury. That's the different version of that ability. That's pretty cool. Now, let's see if we can get anything out of Proportional Punch. It's not a lot, but we have Strike Tiles on the board. We just couldn't get any Web Tiles because Spidey isn't leveled up enough to create Web Tiles by making his own matches. 1700. Yeah, well, we had no other reason for to play that um, uh, red AP anyway, now that we've converted X-23's ability. But we're up to 12 blue. 
So I would love to finish this match with a grow punch from Ant-Man. That's going to be our goal. Um, they're going to take that black and they're going to hit us with a black ability. So better get X-23 up front to take the damage once again. Ooh, that'll hurt. 4,400 and then a big hit. <laughs> the big hit from Mordo took X-23 right out. Well, you don't treat my friends that way. Ant-Man is going to come after you. Another big hit here. Wow, they're rolling. we got to take Mordo out. He's got his purple ready to fire. We have 15 blue. We need one more blue match. Although, this should be enough to take him out. Thank goodness. Star-Lord has a purple ability. But we should be able to deal with that okay, I think. Be nice to line up a green match now that Spidey can tank it. Yeah, bottom left corner. Spidey should be in really good shape. So let's play Ants, Ants, Ants and try to get our last blue match right here. This might set up the finisher. This is great. I think we're going to do it. This is about the best way I wanted to finish. Let's go ahead with Spidey Green for fun. And... We have 18 blue, that means we can play small time crooks. It would be a countdown tile that steals enemy special tiles every turn, but we don't need to worry about that. Here is the very rare but super awesome ability from the second side of Ant-Man's blue or purple. It is called Grow. He uh, basically becomes large again from his shrunken ant-sized state and delivers a punch. Check this out. This is uh, one of the most fun abilities in the game and rare to see it happen. Great animation. Here we go. Man, that's fun. Way to, what a way to win and get through our nodes. We'll celebrate with pulling some tokens here after this. And by the way, we just earned a Emma Frost cover. What color do you think it's going to be? Hit the button. Here it is in three, two, one. Emma Frost, recruit her onto the team. We'll see what color we get. What color was it? Did it did it display it and I missed it? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, she was recruited, so that's why I didn't notice it immediately. I thought it was going to go into my rewards queue. Sorry about that. Let's go to the four stars. Recruited immediately, and we got her purple ability. That's going to be a really good uh, move. It's a repeater, psychic meddling. That sounds like a lot of fun. Great. Good job on the uh, bringing in the luck to win that uh, very difficult battle, to win that four-star cover, and then we can get a run on Emma Frost in her training. Once I get a few more covers and levels in for her, that's great. Let's do our tokens. we got a number of them now. Low on heroic compared to my usual. We'll do elites. we got seven to pull here. There's our first gold, Dr. Octopus, with a bonus, Dr. Strange. A couple of docs in a row there. Need a few Dr. Strange to get up to the point where we earn a legendary token from his rewards. All right, good there. We'll go ahead and do the heroics. I usually do them last, but we only have three. Got the gold, and look at this, guys. It's not just gold, but the viewer luck is awesome. It earned us a four-star cover. Who do you think it's going to be? Let's count it down. We ran a little bit low on luck with the heroics before, and this made up for it. Count it in three, two, one. And look how that's so great. How fitting. In one of my favorites I mentioned earlier, Gwenpool gets a, another level stronger with a bonus. We've chose Sandman because he will eventually, and um, in a few levels, earn a five-star green goblin cover. And Goblin just got uh, buffed with the nerf to Gambit because of all the countdown tiles. Gambit can't override them anymore. So I'm looking forward to get a couple more covers in Goblin if we can. It, yeah, I would, have, I would also have assumed Rogue 2, Enios, because we just seem to get Rogue all the time. 
Dr. Doom, three star, with another bonus. Wow, running good on Strange. Well, let's do the daily special, almost guaranteed to be a two star, and no surprise there. All right, had to check just in case. 48 Latest Legends, we're going to come back. We're going to do five Latest Legends pulls before we're done with tokens. The Hunt, we just got five or at least four of these tokens. I think I had one from before. Let's see how we can do. Let's uh, take a real quick look because um, Emma Frost is not in tokens yet, but in this specific store only. She is listed as a new character and supposedly one in 14 odds. If you qualify for a four star, she is then, um, it's one in 14 odds for a four star in general. And then she's one of the uh, around 70 total four stars in the pool. So your chances are pretty slim um, in the first place, but not impossible. It's good to know your odds. I tend to overdo it on the odds and numbers a little bit, but fun for me. <laughs> All right, the hunt is over. Assassin for Hire is a three-star Electra event store. We'll get more tokens there, so we'll come back to that later. Heroes for Hire featuring five-star Doctor Strange. He is the essential character in the hunt story mode. You could buy his purple cover for 250 command points. I'm not going to do that. I could use the cover, but that is pretty expensive still, unless it was my 13th cover I needed for him, then I might do it. Simulator wrapped up. We have five remaining tokens, and this store ends in a couple hours, so I'm glad we're here to do this before it's too late. Another Doc Ock. Full bottle Cuervo's on, just in time to improve our odds on our draws here. Let's see if it'll work. And it did. Enios and Full Bottle and the rest of you guys did it. We earned one of the best rewards from this vault. It is a support token. We'll pull that when we get back. Perfect. Nice job, guys. Hopefully it's a new support token and not a duplicate, but I'll take what we get. Do the daily purchase special since we have a little bit more hero points than last time. And we did it with a three-star. Got She-Hulk. I need that for her duplicate that we're building. Great. We're running really good here, guys. I am going to pull our tacos. We have 16 of those ready to go. And the reason is America Chavez and Shuri are both in here, two newer characters. So that's one reason. There's a lot of good rewards all the time. But it's the cycle end where the newer, the most recent three-star releases are featured at the end of the cycle. So it's Doctor Strange, Thanos, Hot Guy, Star-Lord, are the five here, and then the next Taco Vault will take off from uh, the characters released after Star-Lord, which are three-star Elektra and um, Angel and, uh, oh, and uh, three-star Gambit will be in the next Taco Vault. So we'll probably pull all of those as well. Here we go. 1,000 ISO. 14 of these is going to take a little while, or 16 of these is going to take a little bit. We'll try to burn through them, see if we can get better than two stars. You guys can make your bets on what is going to be the best result out of the taco vault. Are you guys serious? I tell you, the other day I ran tokens without being on the stream, and I did a terrible job myself. And with you guys on here, look what we did. We hit one of the very best results out of this pack. We got four-star Shuri from the taco vault. That is just nuts. Amazing. Well... Whatever we get now will be just uh, icing on the cake. Five health packs, that's always good. I can't believe we got the four star out of a 300 item vault. Three star vision, perfect. Running good. I hope you guys run this good as well because somehow you're bringing in the luck. Thousand more ISO. Oh, and we're going to champ a big character today too, guys, if you didn't catch the, the first part of the stream and uh, try not to take too long but uh, seems like I just can't help it sometimes I won't bother with a lot of the character leveling another vision awesome I want to get the other three stars though he's the end of the vintage level three stars if you will but you know I'm a vision fan if you could tell from the DDQ nodes we ran today 
among three star teams, I like him, of course. Not so much among four stars or fives. All right. As expected, we're getting all the bottom rewards now because we ran so good with the four star Shuri. Fair enough. We'll get more tacos from this vault here over the next couple of days and we'll continue to run those out. Very nice. All right. That's it for those tacos. Is that it except for that support token, I think? And, of course, we're going to do the legendaries. Here we go. Support token. Guaranteed to be a one tier, but could be a two or a three tier result. Chances are one in 20 for a three tier, so that's pretty tough. But chances are one in three for a two tier. We're hoping for a new support that we don't have unlocked yet, but it could be a duplicate. And if it's a duplicate, it's a bunch of red ISO. Let's concentrate, guys. Try to get a new support. Here we go. All right. It's a duplicate support of the... Um, the one that you can equip to X-Men, that's fine. 1,400 red ISO is a whole bunch in one shot. It's hard to earn that much through regular progression in the game, so we'll take it. Not bad. Okay, it's time. We are back down to the latest legends. We're going to do five latest legends, guys. We're trying to get uh, a, a five-star Captain America, and once I get one level in him, I think we can stop for a while and save our tokens back up. Wouldn't mind more Wasp, especially her black. And, of course, Okoye is in here as well. So we're only going to do five. If we get five four-stars, that's fine. That's going to be it. So we're going to draw from 48 down to 43. If you guys are ready, let's go. It's a four-star. And look at that, Agent Venom. Just because they heard me talking him up a little bit earlier, you wonder. Next one, four-star Nightcrawler. Okay, mentioned him too. Who's it going to be, guys? Mockingbird. Big fan. All right. We did three. We got two more. Thanks for bringing in the force and the luck, guys. Here we go. Can we do it? Let's go purple. Not yet. In our last video, we did. There you go. Winter Soldier. I think that's going to take him to a nice level for another reward or a legendary token from his rewards. Claim it. Last one we're going to do here from the latest legends. And by the way, I was just about to say... We did get a five-star on our very last pull possible from the Classics area last time. Maybe we can do it from our last pull in the latest Legends. Here we go now. It's true. You guys did it. Amazing. We got a latest Legend five-star pull. It's guaranteed to be Okoye, the new Wasp, or Infinity War, Captain America. I want all of these guys. You did it. You guys are so lucky. Three, two, one. It's Wasp, and it's her black. That's perfect. I didn't have her black yet, so now she's going to go to five total covers, and uh, two in blue, two yellow, one black. So perfect. You guys did it. Rounded her out well. All right. I'm excited. We're going to champion a, a, a different character in a little bit, so you know what? Let's pull five classics as well. You never know what we're going to get here, and we might get five classic four stars in a row, but I think we're running hot. Let's do this. Five pulls, starting at 1379, we'll stop at 1279 total command points. Here we go. Let's run hot. <laughs> oh, you guys are so crazy. I can't believe the luck you bring into these videos. Um, I do feel guilty sometimes, but I think it's the collective, um, you know, uh, the, the 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 everybody on the same force brings it together. This is a classic, so we don't know who it's going to be. It could be anybody, but we do know it can't be Okoye, Newcap, or Wasp. So it's one of the classics. Here we go. Count it down from five, four, three, two, one. Hit it. And it's Hawkeye. Awesome. He's going to move up another level. He is a champion. Claim that. Can you believe we got that on the first try? We can't stop now. We're going to do four more. Very likely to be four more. Four stars, but I am cool with it. Let's go. I'll probably certainly keep command points saved up after this today's run. We got a kingpin. Excellent. He eventually earns five-star daredevil from his rewards. We get the bonus. Another Sandman. Wow. That's three Sandman today. Three Sandman today? Crazy. Three more draws, guys. 
amazing luck. I can't understand how well we're doing. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> I owe you guys somehow. I know what we're gonna do. When we get to our followers rank, we get let's get to 40 followers on Twitch. And then we'll count it down for a giveaway when we get to 50. That's what we're going to do. So tell your friends, I can't believe how lucky it is. Another classic. It could be anybody except for the main, the newest three. Unbelievable. Who's it going to be this time? I owe you guys. I should almost send this to, to, to you guys. Huh. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, go. It is... Five star Ghost Rider. Now that is interesting because I have him at 13 covers, but he is not champion. So that moves him up in the priority list to become a champion. But the great thing is they're changing the system. So once you're at 13 covers, you can continue to save covers and not have to champ them before it expires. That change comes in middle of the next week from the time of this video. Unbelievable five star Ghost Rider collect it. Well, I said we'd do a couple more, so let's do it. We are running incredibly hot. Let's see. The next two are guaranteed to be four stars, I'm pretty sure. Let's go. It's a four, and it's X-23. It's funny. We're having a little bit of a theme of the characters we've just been using here. Man, no kidding. Uh, I'm going straight after this video to buy some uh, a lot of tickets, guys. I never buy them, but I might have to today. wish I could bring you bring the stream along with me for that. Last pull, this is it. No matter what we get, we've got to be done and save our command points after this. Cross your fingers. Hit it. All right, it's a four-star, and it is main event Hulk. Wish my little sidekick was here. He would love to give a Hulk smash holler when that hits in. Man, ran good. Let's collect on these covers and add this stuff in. we got to get done for PvE here pretty soon. Let's sell out all of our one stars to get them out of here. Let's go right into the two stars. I don't think I need to do anything with. I'll work on that later. Threes. Here we go. Bunch of vision in a row. Three vision takes him to 173. He's a recent rechamp. 10,000 health. Awesome. She Hulk. I'll have to add that into her duplicate. So not hit the add level button. Doc Ock. Got a couple for him. Wow, I just, the heart's pounding, guys, from how good we're running. I just don't understand how well that worked. Absolutely appreciate it. Next level for Doctor Strange gets the legendary recruit token back. Doctor Doom. 201. We're going to keep pulling latest legendary tokens, guys, until we get uh, a Captain America Infinity War so he can move up a level. Try to tank red over five-star Thor. Bunch of Hulk in a row from recent rewards. He hits 239 for the legendary token and level 240. Great. Oh, by the way, we also... All right, so we have Punisher to train. Let's wait on all of that. Let's do this quick before I forget, though. Over to She-Hulk, who is down here. Need her blue, but I'll take her red. Power of Attorney goes up to level 3, and she's at 143 on the duplicate we're building, trying to rechamp her. We have uh, not quite, but nearly max champ version of She-Hulk. Punisher's got uh, all these covers, and I'm saving those to add in without having to champ him. We'll do that later. Let's go to 4 stars. Crazy run of 4 stars. All right. Main Event Hulk hits level 306. Look at that health. Insane. I knew that he would be over 23,000 soon. A lot of fun to play him. Let's go. Oh, and after all these levels, we're going to champion another character. Do you know who it's going to be? Latest legendary token for X-23. That'll help get that balance back after we keep using them every day. Let's go to Kingpin. 284. All right. At uh, level 300, he'll earn us a Daredevil 5-star. Winter Soldier, be ready for this. Level 280 for a legendary token. It seems like it's that easy, but it's just lucky these guys are all coming around those reward areas that give good rewards. It's just just by chance. Level 321 on Nightcrawler. While he is moving up quick, quickly, 
Agent Venom, 301. Good health on him, 19.8. Shuri, our miracle hit out of the Taco Vault for level 291. She is a really very useful character, turns out. Let's level up Gwenpool. 307 for some hero points back. Can't wait till she gets over 14,000 health. Need a few more levels for that. Let's go down to Nova. He was a daily login reward, uh, daily shield reward. 17,500 health even on him. Great. And Captain Marvel from the event play uh, event progress for 900 points. She hits 19,000 health for the very first time. Level 317. Man, she's good in her PvP. Hope you guys did well there. And here's our two Sandmans that were bonus heroes. I think I said three for some reason. I know it's two. He hits 20,000 health already and 297. Awesome. So at level 300, he will earn us a Green Goblin purple cover. And there we are with the Spider-Man that was a reward as well. Gets him up to level 3 in blue. I should have added that earlier before I tried to use him in those fights. That's it for the 4 stars. But you know, we have a couple of 5 stars. Lucky crazy hits. Let's go for Hawkeye here. Level 457 for 25 command point reward. 5 star champion level rewards are out of this world. He moves up um, to 457. So he's getting up there toward 460. Have to look and see how his match damage compares to other characters, but in really excited to add this into Wasp for her black ability. I haven't been able to try it out yet, of course, so now I'll be able to do that. And she goes to 221 already for a brand new character. Thanks to you guys' luck helping me out tremendously. We'll save Ghost Rider, and here it is, guys. We're going to champion a character that's been a big deal waiting for a long time. Can't wait to do this. Before we do it, hey, uh, we've got a shield rank level to accept for a bunch of ISO. I like to do that on days where we're going to be uh, celebrating a champion. 72,500 ISO helps out a lot. And there we go. We don't need 589, but uh, I've been building this guy up a little bit. There's your first clue who it might be. Do you guys know who the champion is going to be today? It is Black Panther. Had him at 13 covers for a while after getting really um, good progress on his four-star version. And that uh, hit the champion progress of the four-star earned the last cover I needed on the five-star after buying a Heroes for Hire to get his other yellow, by the way. So let's do it. He's at 342 now. It costs 351000 to go to level 450. Boom. He's up there. Let's promote the guy. And we have a brand new five-star champion at level 450. Can't wait to get in, him in some action. I haven't played him with Thanos yet, who has been a very popular team for a very long time. Let's do it. We've got time for just a couple more matches. Let's run into... Let's see. Let's run into... Versus... We'll play, with, we'll play an Assassin for a Hire here first. We've got some teams that we could probably take out pretty quickly. That's not one I'm going to hit. Let's wait on that as well. I think this is, there we go, Panthos versus Panthos. Let's do it. We've got a pretty decent level Thanos. And uh, Electra's fine. Let's go over to our brand new Black Panther. But I do want to check his spec. I think what we'll do now that we have him champed, we can move his black up. I don't know quite yet what we're going to keep him at, but uh, I, for now I'm going to move his yellow down since it's a passive that's a little bit harder to trigger. Spirit of Wakanda, it takes a bunch of team up and then a yellow match after you have it ready to go. So 535 I think is the build we're going to go with. Let's see if we can win against a mirror match team. Might not be easy, but the enemy Electra has lower health and that'll help us out quite a bit. I think though... We want to, um, let me think about what we want to do. If we looks like we're going to get a lot of green, we could play Thanos' countdown tile. Let's hit Panther for a little bit first while I'm trying to calculate what to do. 
Black is going to be a really big deal for this team, obviously. If we have a big hit coming, it'll be nice to move Panther up front because the passive side of his red ability negates a bunch of damage and then stuns himself. And when he comes out of the stun, he does a, a bunch of damage after that. So that's really good. There's a couple of team-up matches on the board, but I think we better go for red and then we guarantee to get one of the team-ups. Let's go this way. There we go. Yellow doesn't do much, but it does do pretty strong match damage. Um, 42,000. I'm trying to think about how much health we want to keep on Panther while we switch, when we switch over to start hitting Electra. So we already have nine team up. What I'm going to do here is get us up over the threshold for Spirit of Wakanda. Boy, I can't believe we got this ready to go already. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit Electra with this yellow match. And since we have all this team up, Spirit of Wakanda is going to do a whole lot of damage. Let me think. Do I want to do it now or not? Take Electra out, and then Panther will be stunned, and he'll get us back. Hmm, maybe I don't want to do that. Let's hit, let's hit Thanos with it. 23,000, just because we got a yellow match with all that team up. That's pretty crazy. Um, now we can rebuild the team up a little bit. All right, things are going pretty well for us so far, but if he keeps getting a lot of purple, he's going to shut us down with locking up the board. So let's do black that drops red. Try to keep them away from yellow and team up. That'll sting a little bit. Electra's going to hit us for damage every turn. Let's go for black this way. Okay, so here's where we're going to play Panther's Prey, and I've been looking forward to this big time. What this does is adds damage on top of every damaging thing that you do to the enemy of 5,219. 5, That's going to be really pretty crazy. Now, it is assigned to a specific enemy. And um, I think we can't do it on enemy Panther or he'll um, stun himself against us. So this might be the way we want to take out Electra. So let's assign this to her. So everything we do now, matches or abilities, is going to do that extra 5,000 plus damage. So let's hit her with a crippling blow and check this out. Normally it would only do about 4,000. 11,400 from that just because. Now, um, this is going to hit her every turn and knock her out while that's on the board. Let's go for a team up. Uh-oh, they might match it away. Don't do it. They did it. Uh, of course, I shouldn't have set that up. No problem. She's just about out regardless, and one match does it. Uh, should we do it now? Let's do it now. Court death coming. Okay, so Panther, when he wakes up, is going to hit us with a pretty big attack, and that's fine. What, um, let's see, what, what do we want to do? I want to try to line up more black matches or green. I don't see it. Okay, here comes Panther against us. It would have been nice to put our Panther out, but check this out. Our Panther hit him back. Very cool. So... In two moves, he's going to lash out at us again. How can we deflect that? I want to try to keep Panther up front. So let's get yellow. There's a red match to keep him up front. Spirit of Wakanda takes him out while he was stunned. Court death hits again. Wow. Okay. So this team is working out pretty well. Let's go ahead and play purple so Thanos can do additional damage on his matches since we have a big match four shot coming. Nice. And, and uh, move or be moved every time Panther becomes unstunned, hits Thanos for the win. That was a lot of fun.
I think we had most of the tactics down. I think. Not a bad run. Let's take on one more fight, and then we'll have to end it here after this, guys. I got to tell you, full bottle, any of you guys, if I win the lotto for real, I would do tons for the MPQ community, especially the guys on Twitch and YouTube for building up the love for this game that we all enjoy so much. I would really put a lot of effort into building things up, whatever it took. And, yeah, I'd help you guys out with a few bucks. So maybe I should carry a live stream into the uh, gas station and buy a, a lotto ticket with you guys on. If I bought it myself, it would be like throwing it away. So should we play Panthos again, or should we play Panther in a different map team? Let's do that. Let's, do, let's play Panther, but let's bring in Okoya. I've been wondering about how they would team up. They have the same color matchup. She tanks all the colors, but she doesn't have a way to play black since she has a black ability uh, uh, passive. His black obviously is a really good active ability. So we have red, black, and yellow abilities. So we need a red or we need a green, blue, and purple in a five-star setup. We don't have a green, blue, and purple, but we have a nice green and purple and I guess we'll forego the blue because Daredevil is that awesome. Okay. Now I kind of want to see if I could get Panther up front to get stunned by Daredevil but uh, as you can tell we don't have a way to have Panther move up front because Okoye tanks all of the same color. So we'll have to figure that out uh, as we go here. So um, we want to get a lot of team up ready, but right now there's a red that drops green. We'll take it and team up. Great. With a lot of team up on board, Okoye will add damage to any of our ability damage. Okay. Black drops team up. Cool. While we keep Okoye in front, she won't diminish our team up. If we don't have her in front, she'll take a team up away from us every turn so now I gotta try to keep her up front here and I really need to get yellow so this blue lines up a yellow match we'll see oh man yeah it really does lines up an extra move <laughs> come on come on Rick you're thinking about your draws and you're not paying attention alright let's go I guess we're gonna have to do some daredevil moves just to get yellow that's fine we'll take a critical match on Thanos we need yellow so that we can have Okoye heal. Um, not much going on. Let's do red, blue. Lucky green, I'll take it. Infinite power is pretty tough. It locks up some of... Oh, hilarious. That was so funny. Uh, infinite power locks up the board, so you can't change the state of any tiles. Um, then they chose to play Living Legend, which ends the turn and normally places a bunch of black strike tiles. Well, Infinite Power locked the board, so all they did was end the turn and spend nine black AP. That is funny. Let's go ahead and work on our uh, Daredevil matches a little bit. Here we go. All right, we got to get yellow. This gets a little more yellow, red, and team up. Perfect. So we have purple ready to go. Just about one more match of purple on the top here. We're going to do it. Um, we have 11 team up. Man, this is great. We're in a really good spot. We have a lot of red to play. And it will do a lot of damage because of Okoye's team up. But I want to wait for the perfect moment in a second here. Let's get our purple. Now, is it possible to get green ready for daredevil that would be the ideal scenario because we could play piercing throw and destroy daredevil's green countdown tile which will do tons of damage on top of things i don't know if we're going to be able to do that in time probably shouldn't worry about that i guess all right well yeah we could line up green with this team up match but let's just do this one, because I want to try to line up yellow matches here quickly so Okoye can heal before it's too late. All right. Um, 
take this yellow. Unfortunately, we'll lose a team up. Oh, Spirit of Wakanda went off. Well, <laughs> I got to watch that. That's great, but it costs us a bunch of our team up. I wasn't even ready for that to happen. Okay, well, fine. Let's start with more Daredevil stuff. There's a Living Legend that's going to take place. And the other thing that's funny about Living Legend is when you have the purple from Daredevil ready, you will steal it with Sonar Strike, steal those strike tiles, and stun the enemy. Awesome. Now that Daredevil's stunned, watch this damage. We'll play... And we have a, we have a really good multi-move, too. We have a three-move combo. Let's keep that piercing throw for a second. Here we go. There's a three-move combo, combo on a stunned enemy with all those strike tiles. Watch this damage. Plus Okoye adding to it. All the way down. Knocked Daredevil all the way out from that shot is crazy. Now we finally got enough green. This is going to be great as well. Can we get yellow first? I just don't see it. Well, let's play hand-to-hand, -hand, see where it goes. Down there in a nice, perfect spot. We'll play Piercing Throw right now to destroy that countdown tile. Or should we wait a second? Let me think here. Let's wait a second. Let's do this. I don't think he's going to... Uh, he's not going to take Okoye out. I wanted that match of team up, you cheater. All right, no problem. I was thinking how we can heal Okoye by getting a little more yellow. We're going to be doing damage every turn with that countdown, so it's not imperative that we take it out right away. Match four is going to lose a strike tile. Uh-oh, Blamo couldn't be crazy. Nope, no cascade action, but he earns more strike tiles. And we, he loses a couple of our strike tiles for us. Okay, well, we're just about to win. I wanted to heal Okoye with yellow, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do it. Let's play Piercing Throw. It's a great ability. You can choose the row that you want to destroy. We'll choose the row that has the countdown on it from Daredevil, which will do an additional 10 plus thousand damage and create the countdown again in a new location with a new counter. Nicely done. Super fun. Good team to win with. All right. Well, guys, um, I was going to do another match, but looking at the time, we've gone really long. We've had a lot of stuff going on today. I appreciate you being on. I'm going to have to end it there. Thanks for being part of the incredible polls that we did and uh, the uh, amazing four star and five star results we got a brand new champion in black panther i'm super excited about that to add another champ to the roster i owe you guys for everything you make it happen you bring in the luck and help things run so great it's fun to have you on and make this happen even though rick's out of time you got to have uh, more mpq in your life stay on twitch and check out anios 4 he's going to be streaming on later after pve and uh, if you're staying on Twitch as well, you can hit up Adam and Killpower. Their links are in the main link section below the video. And if you're ever on YouTube, check out Mr. MPQ and Artem. Those guys do an uh, awesome job of uh, playthroughs, strategy, and um, reviews of uh, gameplay and roster stuff. They do a great job. Check them out. Make sure to like and follow. We're trying to get up to multiple followers. Make sure and tell your alliance mates to hit us up. Want to get up to 40 so we can try to work out a giveaway. And uh, as we go from 40 to 50 followers on Twitch, looking forward to that. Thanks so much again, guys. Got to run. 